Hey FlossTube, I'm Whitney and this is my channel Whitney Stitches. We're back. It's been two weeks. First I want to, it has been two weeks. I've got Casey here with me today. First I want to say thank you to all the returning viewers and subscribers. My subscriber list is going up and that floors me because I never would have imagined people would want to listen to me. So that's exciting. Um, I have a huge thank you to Judy. She won a giveaway. She won the uh, Cottage of the Month August. Apparently she lives not too far from me. She sent me this beautiful card, which I absolutely love. And she offers to make plans to meet up in Joplin for shopping one day, which it will be on. Mm -hmm. Let me get through the first days of school and softball. Of course, Loft all starts to do that downhill slide of a slowdown. So about end of September, yeah. beginning of October. Judy, expect a message from me. I'll be messaging you. Can I come? No, you'll be in school. We'll uh -huh. leave the kiddos at home while they're in school. No fail. Or something. We'll figure. We'll plan something. If I have to bring them, we'll see. <gasps> yeah. How about so. you only bring me and Bloody and then Wes can stay here with Dad? That's a good idea. Yeah. Because Wes doesn't like to shop that much. Mm -mm. He hates it. So, Judy, I have to tell this story. So, I get the informed digest for the my mailbox. So, anything that comes to me, to, to me for the day, I see it on my uh, email of what's coming. So, I have a little screenshot of the envelope. That way I can keep track of packages. I know if I get a certain bill, I don't get a certain bill. I can mainly prepare myself for said bills, especially the credit card ones. And I can hide packages from Shane. Mm -hmm. So, when I saw the envelope for this, I looked at it and her handwriting looked like my mom's. And I'm like, what is mom sending me a card for? Because my mom is the best about sending cards for all the holidays. Even the ones you don't even think of. I mean, she just sent them a card at random for coming to their house. It's my mom. She just loves to send cards. Yeah. First day of school cards. First day of school cards. Like, she does everything. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sitting there. I'm looking at this envelope. And I'm waiting for my bell to come. I'm like, my gosh. What holiday did I forget? I go through the list. Me and my kids are family's birthdays. So, I didn't miss that. She already sent me a card for my anniversary. So, that was covered. I couldn't think of anything. So then I pull it out of the mailbox. I see that it was from Judy. I'm like, oh, thank God I didn't forget a holiday. So I was very happy to get this. And you sent me on a puzzle for the day until I could open my mail. So what have we been up to, Casey? Softball. Softball. We last had, night. We had our season opener last week. We played at home versus a local team. We lost both games, but we did good. Like we didn't lose to too many errors or anything like that. They just hit a little bit better than we did. Yeah. We couldn't hit for anything. Mm -hmm. Last night we played another game. That was our district opener. We did awesome. We did awesome. We won two to zero. Probably got an RBI, which is really nice. There's an RBI. Run batter in. It means I hit and I got out, but the other person got to go to third, so we actually got like a run. Yeah. Huh. And for me hitting out, they got a run. Yeah. Which helped them. It helped them move around. So, um, let's see here. I was reading a message real quick for softball, of course. Um, let's see here. We did soft. We've done softball. Fancy school shopping. We've been back, to, oh my god, we've been back to school shopping. Uh, so, last weekend, not this Sunday, Monday, that was yesterday and all that stuff. The weekend before that was tax-free weekend for Missouri and Oklahoma. We stayed home. I don't, I don't shop on that weekend. It's worth the tax for me not to deal with that madness. So, we did online shopping. I set her in front of the computer with children's place and I said here's your limit have fun so she ordered all the things 
Hey, at least I wasn't like last year who. Uh, last year she spent about a hundred bucks, easy. This year she only spent about fifty, so not too bad. Yeah. My son though got on there and went nuts. He spent about one hundred and sixty dollars, which is fine. It's all school clothes. Yeah. So we don't care. As long as you wear it. If as long you as you, wear if it. you don't wear it, I get mad. We cleaned out closets. We gutted I closets. Have so much room. We cleaned out all the closets, put clothes. We have a consignment store in our town. And every now and then I get a spur on my britches to where I'm like, hmm, let's try Facebook and sell it on Facebook. No, it's going into consignment. I've sold like a handful of things and the rest of it's going straight to my friend selling you at consignment. So if you're ever coming through Northeast Oklahoma, go check out Owl's Nest Resale. Half my stuff's there. Uh, let's see here. We've been doing that. We we started back to school boot camp this week. It's where I make them get up by alarm at the regular time because they start school next week. So we we get the grumpies and the adjustments and the tired and the foggy brains out this week, and then next week we can hit it hardcore. So everybody's work. everybody's up at six thirty this morning. I hate it. She gets up early anyway, so she says that. I was actually sleeping good last night, though. I know. So, next week, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that we're free. And then Thursday starts school. And I have a game Thursday. And she start, and the oldest starts with school with a lucky with the Lucky Seven Conference Tournament. So, that's their district tournament for their uh, group. Their area is called the Lucky Seven. So, she used to... Depending on the schedule, she may get to school and leave right on the bus right after she gets to school to go to play games. So wear uniform. And wear uniform yeah. the first day of school. So be watching my Instagram for back to school picture, first day of school pictures with the uniform on. And second day. And second day of picture. Well, we don't do pictures on second day, but she'll be wearing the uniform that day too. So her first two days of school will be spent on the ball field probably. And I'll probably be subbing because somebody has to watch the kids while the all the coaches go. We normally do our schedule to where my husband, when he's off work and there's a game, he'll go to the game. And I sub if there's a possibility. Only time I don't sub is when I say, no, I, I need to go to a game because my husband can't be there. So, we're lucky. He's off. He's, he's on. He's off for the rest of August. Yeah, he's off for the rest of August. He's going, he's got a vacation right now, so we're enjoying it. And he gets to go to all the games while I sub. So that's all. Uh, we have two physical therapy appointments. Therapy appointments left for the oldest. We finish up next Tuesday, and then she'll be done. We're really excited. She got to open as a starter on opening day, opening game. She, I wouldn't let her. She got to bat during scrimmages, but I wouldn't let her throw during scrimmages. Because I wanted, I had rather her hurt herself during a game and be put out and having played in the season versus getting hit during a scrimmage and not being able to miss any, having to miss any game. So, we made her sit still, she waited, and now she's getting to open in the outfield. She normally plays what, left field or right field? Right. She normally plays right field. Well, she plays left and right but that's the two she plays uh let's see here what else have we been doing um i <laughs> i went to the doctor for my allergies because for the past about two or three months my allergies i take every day work but not in the morning and not in the evening and if i smell something or get around something it's done so we all remember the Plus two, like number five or six, where I itched my nose the whole entire time. Yeah. So, Everybody, itchy nose is plus two. Well, I went to the doctor. The doctor's like, all right, pollen count's high. Let's give you a steroid shot to see if we can get you over the hump. I haven't had a steroid shot since my daughter, since I was pregnant with my oldest. So, that would be 14 years ago. Holy moly. You had a 
did it uh. hit me we got home i reorganized all my floss got some of it put on floss bitties cleaned up my charts got everything labeled laundry got done that day house got cleaned that day it was a great day it was a tiring day <laughs> they got she worn out fast i had all the energy they had none and they got worn out fast so that's all we've been up to yeah can't think of anything else so let's get into stitching i have one ffo that's because i'm still monogamous stitching i don't know why i'm normally not a monogamous stitcher but i have been I mean one at a time so this is my one and only ffo it's the pumpkin picking day by stitching with the housewives i did all the call for colors i didn't change anything and it's finished the way they would finish it it's supposed to be an ffo on my basket but i'm out of washers so my husband's out running errands right now and he has to go pick me up some more washers so as soon as that gets done this will get put hung on up. the basket and then hung up Where are you put that? i have no clue so but we have it's pumpkin picking day so i love it it's cute um we have oh there's a chart to show off with it too mm. but y'all should all if you watch the housewives you know which one it is let's see here and then my whips i have two whips because i'm a little bit of monogamous stitching it's only two projects right now which is wow. random not like me usually it's like 15 projects no. all the whips so the first one I started the September calendar crates by Stitcher and Housewives. It is not focusing. Let's see, there we go. Now we're focused. All right. Stitching with the Housewives September calendar crates. I started it. I started the big one. Normally I start with the small one, but it took me forever to get through the August one because I didn't start with the big one, so I told myself I'll start with the big one this time see and see if it goes faster. faster. And this is my start. So I have the bottom and a little bit of the white, and there's my needle hanging down. So that's on 28 count. Let me do that because that's a lot better. 28 count black Monica. Did you just pull my needle out? You're fired. I know I am. Can't get good help these days for anything. Why are you just fired all the time? Riley stays fired. Yeah. I'm making tea, feeding the dogs, feeding the chickens. Yeah. Alright, that's back in there. Alright, so that's my start there. That was all wiggly and all over the place, but we'll try it one more time with showing it off. There we go. 28 count black Monaco, call for colors. I don't know why it's not focusing. Well, anyways, 20 account, black Monaco. Um, I noticed some people looking for Monaco and where to find it because they can't find it anywhere. I hate to do this and I'm probably gonna shoot myself in the foot one day. But there's a place on Facebook, Rita Renee's, or Rita Ann, something like that, Fabrics. She has black Monaco. I ordered by the yard from her. It's my last order, I ordered five yards and it just came in. <laughs> She's re very reasonable in prices. I think it's like $8 a yard and then you pay shipping. And totally worth it. I have five yards. I'm set up for however long time. It won't keep me long. It won't be long. But um, also, if you can't find black Monaco, I stand by it and swear by it. Black Joblin. The holes are a little bit larger. You can see through them. It's, I swear by Black Joblin. If I don't have a, enough Monaco, like I ran out of my Monaco for a little bit and I use Joblin instead. So, totally use Black Joblin. All right, my other whip is the 
Bats and Boos Stitch Along. Now, I started this and I just watched my video because I was trying to figure out how did I not have so many FFOs or finishes and it's because I was not too far along on the pumpkin picking day but I finished it. So that's what got me there. And then I realized I did this. So I started this on the 32 count by Color and Cotton. And this is how far I got. And then I realized I got off of my count. So I am half a stitch off up here. So I put it away. That's how pumpkin September, September counter crates got started. I got frustrated beyond belief. Then I got on Instagram. I was scrolling through there. It's either Instagram or Facebook. Well, one of the two. I Somebody did. I think it was Instagram. Yeah. Somebody showed off theirs as where they changed the white for the lacing as purple. Well, I just fell in love. And all I could think was, well, heck, that looks a thousand times better with purple. It's yeah. my favorite color. Why didn't I think of that? So, I got to looking at it, and I'm like, I am not roofing all that out. Nope, not doing it. So, I pulled out my trusty 28 count Joblin and restarted it. So, this is where I, my most of my work has been, is this. This is 28 count uh, coffee tea dyed Joblin that is Caribbean blue. It started out Caribbean blue, a coffee tea dyed it, and I dunked it. But I'm loving the color that it came out with. It's, I don't know, it's just perfect. So I switched the white on the top and the lacing for DMC 52. It's a variegated purple. And the rest I'm doing the call for colors. So this is my progress. That's a lot of stitches considering I started it over I think Saturday or Sunday? Yeah. No, I started over Thursday because it was before Papa came. Mm -hmm. My dad came into town, so he got to hang out with us for a little bit. That was something else we did. But I'm never going to touch 32 account again. I know my last video said, I said that I'm loving 32 kill. That was so easy. I was having fun with it. And I hated it. Like, I am, mm -mm, we're not friends anymore. I unfollowed 32 count. Like, we're done. Okay, Mom. We broke up. Hmm. What about the time when I was supposed to have a game so I was away and got canceled? Oh, yeah. She went to a sleepover Friday night, and so Papa came into town. And we drove down to Little Kansas, Oklahoma. There's a place in Oklahoma named Kansas. Don't ask. I don't, I don't question the names around here. So we drove down to Kansas, Oklahoma, which is about an hour and 40 minutes away, I think. All on weavy windy roads, no interstate, all to get, watch the kids warm up, and then the rain, the bottom dropped out. So we came back home. No game that night. So anyways, that's my progress. I can truly say I'm loving it now. Like this, I cannot put it down. I was working on it while Bradley was in PT. I was standing there watching her do her exercises as I was suddenly working on it. I'm loving it. So I cannot wait to do this, like to finish this one. You need to finish it soon. I do need to finish it soon. I may slow down on it so I can go back to work on pumpkin seeds and get it going because I like to have it done before September starts, but we'll see. This, I know I showed this last week. This is my creative carol bag. Holy moly, a handle. Can change everything. Can change my life. <laughs> Yesterday at the ball game, because I'm going to take my stitching wherever I go, I had my purse thrown on, I had my snack bag on the shoulder, because I'm a cheap wad and I don't like to buy concession stand food, so I bring snacks. I have this on my wrist and my chair. I was totally good to go. My hand, one hand was free, so I could sit there and talk, and I'm gonna talk with my hand, so my hand was going everywhere. Perfect, a handle. Probably will be my, I'm gonna have to order another Creative Carol bag because. The handle teaches. Everything. <laughs> so. 
that's that's my two whips. My other whip that's not stitchy, but it is a whip, is I'm slowly but surely working on the quilt along for the Bats and Booze Mystery. Stitch quilt along. This is my pumpkin block. I still have to put the strips on the side right here. And then I'll start the uh, that other is block. Cute. It is cute. It came out cute. Like I'm learning a lot on this. Never the knew. skeletons are cute. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, that's my whips. My haul. So, I had more haul. Then I got a steroid shot. And then I put all this floss that I had haul of on things. And I don't know what I got. Like, I, it was a whirlwind of floss. Like, floss was just going everywhere. And labels were going everywhere. And floss buddies were going everywhere. Like, she needed to organize. It was pretty. It. I had haul. But I do have the small. And it's actually small, so. Yeah. So I have the Crazy Annie's Stitching Floss of the Month. Uh, Floss Club Monthly. The Floss Club. So I have um, spinach. Blue corn. I like that one. All of the muted colors. I'm loving it. Red currant. Onion skin. And all of these I had. Trail dust and yo gold. Yo gold. All these I had. Some of these I needed like the spinach I was low on. Didn't have I have like one strand left, so this is like perfect timing. And so totally worth it. I have the I have that one. I have another one. Don't remember what was all in it. It was whatever the fat quarter shop had. And I got some more on the way. I so I got the no notifications today. I also got in the October calendar crates. So I'm in the, the club that Southern Stitchers Co. put out. So I get just the chart. Because I like to kit it up. Because if I make changes, I don't want to order all the floss and be committed to that so I have that I also that's all my haul mm -hmm. I have two other haul well technically mm -hmm. I have the it's fall y'all haul I don't know if I showed this last time or not it's fall y'all and pumpkin picking seeds I, I have those two I don't think I showed it yeah but I have those two from the housewives. I printed them off. I haven't printed off the others yet. I haven't bought them yet. Because I haven't even started on these two. So I'm not going to buy them until I know for sure. And this is my bag that I made. Ugh. Let's see here. I also have. Good haul. I have. The Hello My Pretties. From the housewives. Now. When they showed it off. I got on Annabella's. And ordered it from there. So this is Hello My Pretties, that's the Sheep and the Housewives, the All Jarred Up series. I ordered this from Annabella's on Etsy. And then I was watching Kimberly Jolly's Floss Tube, Fat Corn Shop, and they said they were going to do a club. I went, well heck, I'd rather be in a club than I have to remember to order whenever they come out. So I went ahead and joined the club. So I have two copies of the Hello My Pretties. So one will be a giveaway today. Spoil. Spoiler alert. So I have two copies of it. I have one already kitted up in my Dot Dot Goose bag. You like Dot Dot Goose. I don't know if this is my new one that I've showed off. Yeah. I don't know if I showed this one off. This may be my new one that I got in. It's the it's Dot Dot Goose. And this is from the fig, fig tree line by Moda, I think. I can't remember. But it's my new Dot Dot Goose bag. While well, I love a handle, I am loyal to Dot Dot Goose. I have two more of her bags on the way, but we're not going to tell Shane. DTS, don't tell Shane. Yeah. So, we have that. I have all the floss kitted up. So... That's my whips, my haul. These are my plans. 
Just watch Dad check the mail and then there's floss in there. Oh, Dad can. Dad should get over it. Because we don't want to. We'll if he starts to complain, all I have to do is go look at the gun cabinet and the reloading table. You don't want to look at that. And the tool trailer. Or the other tool trailer. Or the shop. Like, there's just tons. We're, we're good. We're good. So, my plans are to finish bats and booze, finish the September cal calendar crates, and then start knocking out all the highest housewives things. I have Clovis and Stanley That's a cute bag. to do. I have Scarecrow Bakery to do. All jarred up. Like, I have all the things to do. And plus, all their little tidbits and ta and stuff like that. So, right now, I'm all fall stitching. I'm not touching anything else. I'm trying to monogamous, monogamous stitch as much as I can until I get bored with something and I'll switch it over to something else. That's my game plan. And I want to finish my quilt. I'll probably work on it. I gave it all day yesterday. I worked on it. And then I'll probably work on it again. I'm thinking Friday. No. Thursday before games. I'll probably give it tomorrow. Thursday, sorry, not tomorrow. Before games. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Mm hmm Because tomorrow we, uh, Thursday we play games at a festival. Because apparently we have rules where you can only be in so many tournaments. So instead of hosting tournaments, they now host festivals where you just play a bunch of games. Nobody wins. I mean, everybody wins or loses, but nobody wins a tournament, kind of, per se. So we'll We'll be festivaling Thursday, so I'll do that before we go. What time is it? We first game's at three. Okay. So we had a giveaway. Our giveaway last time was the you want to turn it off? Yeah. Yeah, we'll wear. Was the November Country Cottage Work the Country Cottage Needleworks November Cottage of the Month. And the word was turkey. And so our winner is, you want to say it? Huh? Read that. Stitching Granny. Mm. Stitching Granny of what? 17. 17. She has 17 grandkids. I'm not going to live with that. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to live with that? No. Yeah, that's a lot of grandkids. So, yeah, stitching grading of 17. Yay! And that's a lot of cousins. Oh, that is a lot of cousins. I won't be able to put up that. Stitching grading of 17. Message me on Instagram at Whitney Stitches, or you can email me at WhitneyStitches at gmail.com. You can email me or message me on Instagram, and we'll get this mailed out to you. Congratulations. So, we have our giveaway. It's Hello, My Pretties. By the all jarred up, we'll pull it out so we can look at it. You get just the chart. No floss, this is actual floss. Yep, I'm sending you on my floss. So you get all jarred up. The hello, my pretties, by stitching with housewives. This is your thing, and your word will be. Let's look to see if we get any inspiration. Um. Do that. Yeah. No, let's do that what those are. Pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin. Your word is pumpkin. No S. Pumpkin. Or no, I'll do pumpkin or pumpkins. We'll do both P or with an S or without an S. We'll do pumpkins. And I'll search for both P and S. P without an S and with an S. Let me write this down so I know what I'm looking for. Before she forgets. Because I will forget. Hi Rocky. Hi Rocky. Come here. Can you just look up? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Pumpkin or pumpkins will get you the hello my pretties. And my question was here. I want to know what was your worst first day of school memory? My worst first day of school memory if I remember right my uncle, my brother, their uncle Adam, not my uncle, but their uncle Adam was driving us to school on the first day. It was my freshman year 
he was a senior. He was driving us to school in his truck broke down on the way to school. So we were late. And because we were driving and we didn't ride the bus, we got a tardy. So I started out my freshman year at a new high school with a tardy. I freaked. Because I was I, like that. I was that nerd that just couldn't handle it. We had to call my mom, my dad. It was it was horrendous. I think my there was one day my grandfather because my tr brother's truck broke down. My grandfather had to come pick me up and take me to school. Papa Young did. So I see her. What is your worst or even your best? I'll take the best first day of school memory. Is this how you would? Let's see. Yeah, my worst could be having a softball game on the first day. No, that's not a bad memory. A good memory? Though? That's a good memory. Having a softball day on the first day of school. You don't have to. You've had softball anything. games on the first day of school for the past two years. So, we've always, well, it's always an afternoon have... game. It's never been a, a festival all day game. Yeah. So, that's an interesting one. So yeah, what's your first day of school memory? A good one or bad? I'll take either one. I like the fun stuff. You don't have any bad ones. Do we don't have really any bad ones. We need a haircut, Steve. So, Rocky's doing good. He is, last we weighed him, was four pounds, four ounces. I know he's a little bit bigger than that now. We need, <laughs> we're fluffy, so we need a haircut. Bad. So we're gonna get him trimmed up. He has bangs. <laughs> he has bangs, and we can barely see his eyes. He's not spoilt at all. He loves to loves. He loves the. <laughs> He's young. He loves to nap. And nap he loves to bark. And, nap. His and run around. He's gonna have. He has separation anxiety whenever we go to <laughs> games, and we can't take him with us. So he gets all oh, he sad. We have to leave him in the utility room. With music no playing. So, all right, I guess that's it. So I guess we will say goodbye. Yeah. All right. Say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Rocky. Goodbye, Rocky. Goodbye. Bye.